Greetings everyone and welcome to the S'mores Archive. These are just all my old videos that I took down that I am re-releasing with some slight edits here and there. I did these DHgate cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. No links to any of these items will be given since these videos were done ages ago anyways. Well, I hope you do get a kick out of my old content. Hello there random person on the internet. Welcome to another video. What you see in the title was purchased off Wish and the track record for Wish is pretty much um, fail, 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 and more fail. So what did I do? I went and bought what you see in the title off Wish because it was on my recommended list and I've tried to buy what's in the title already beforehand and I never received it. So I tried again and today I receive a parcel at my front door. This says Wish on it. So I assume that this is what I wished for. Huh. These were $20 after a discount and then like $11 shipping or something like that. But the pictures are uh, very... Uh, they don't really show a lot. That's because it's Wish. All right, let's crack these open and see if we get a pair of Revenge Cross Storm shoes, which I don't really know much about. I just know that they look like Vans old school shoes and that's pretty much it. It's promising because it's a, a slightly heavy parcel. And when parcels are slightly heavy, that means that they're full of quality. Oh boy, yeah, oh, oh, well, I can tell you right now that they're not Revenge Cross Storm shoes. That's definitely not the case, and that wasn't really the case with the Wish pictures, but they could still be somewhat decent. So let's unroll this one meter long bubble wrap. Oh, it's just out of frame because it's just how much bubble wrap that they use. Oh my god, wow, oh, hokey dokey. Well, you guys are going to enjoy this one. Oh, and there's this, like, cloth thing, which is probably the most expensive part of the entire thing. See, this is why I never buy from Wish, because you just, it's, it's always a fail and a half when I get stuff off there. Yay. Okay. They look like Revenge Cross Storm shoes, but they're not. I mean, it has this, and that's pretty much all that's close to it. Uh, the back there says... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the V from Vans, and then they've just put M and K fashion, so it's... Uh, yep, okie dokie. And the insole stamp has V, M and K, Style 44, which is a style of Vans I'm not too sure of, unless Style 44 is Vans old school, and I'm just not sure of it. I don't know. There you go. And uh, it's all canvassy feeling. It's just cheap as ever uh okay so if you know about vans and you should know about revenge storm shoes i'm just gonna call them revenge storm instead of revenge cross storm just for the whole sake of it uh it has revenge cross storm here and it doesn't also supposed to have a waffle like grip similar to vans but it is not there it is just cheap as cheap i mean you could write something in there if you wanted to it's up to you <laughs> there was a positive though this only took like a week to get here from singapore was it so hey that's all good there's no revenge on the tongue here and here is supposed to say off the shits and no we get v m and k fashion the storm branding is kind of okay but then the rest of the shoe just doesn't even look like it you can tell straight away that it i mean the profile of it is very very thin and it doesn't look like a size 11 i chose size 11 on wish it had an option for size 11 but i don't think these are actually size 11s they don't look and feel like size 11s I mean, uh, maybe i don't know but i probably wouldn't wear these anyways because of just cheapness and of course we get lovely tissue paper which is always useful the sole is removable that's not something you see every day maybe i'm just wrong and it doesn't come out it can just stay in there that's that's fine oh <laughs> basically that's what it goes to so there's like this piece of foam here and then just like another that's basically the bottom of the sole there that's pretty unique i guess the inside stitching basically looks like an old school shoe with the stitching around the heel support and there's extra cushioning there actually no there's not really much cushiony cushioning stuff the stitching here is wrong toe cap is wrong i mean that's not even supposed to come up to there wow 
thanks a lot, Wish. To be honest, I could see this part in the pictures and I just thought I'd take a chance. Just, you know, you, you never know. I might have got a pair. Obviously not. And let's have a look at this other shoe. It has a tag on it. Hey, tie your shoelaces like this. It's all in Chinese, so that's very helpful. A fanting, free love, 2018 to 2014. Okay, well, they must be out of business already then by the uh, simming of it. Yeah, VM and K. Same sort of tissue paper in there. Fantastic. Same, same. This one has a sticker. 7016 2.5. I would have to say that has to do with some sort of sizing thing thingamajiggy. Even though I specifically said size 11, it's, they've sent me size, well, I don't know. European 44 equals US 10 or US 11 or US 10.5. I have no idea. Whenever I say Euro 45, I just go for it and I hope for the best. And I, I, yeah, okay. Vans errors to the rescue. Let's have a look. They are uh, definitely tens. So once again, this is going to be like the fear of God van situation. I'm going to put them on and then immediately have to take them off because my toes are going to be touching right at the end and all that sort of stuff. Let's just go over quality control real quickly. Glue marks, 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 stitching, 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 uh, more stitching, uh, some gunk on the shoe, some ooh, random, <laughs> actually, <laughs> That's, that's, that's just, that's just a bit of, a bit of the material, that, that's okay, that's, that's just extra. Wish has a very good track record, as I said, you know, we've just had fail after fail after fail. It looks like I'm gonna have to try these monstrosities on, walk around in them for a little bit, if I manage to get them on my feet, and, uh, end this video, because I thought that this would be more interesting, and it's not. I actually want to have a look at a real pair of Ian Connor Revenge Storm shoes. The problem is just finding a decent pair, cheap, and finding my size, because they seem to only be in size 10s. And I want to be able to wear them, because they look pretty sick. You know, the whole lightning bolt thing looks sick. Anyways, I'm going to try these things on and finish this video up, because this wasn't a real exciting video. This was terrible. All right, and here we are with the shoes on foot. Let's start with the positives. They are slightly bigger than the Fear of God vans, which is good, and they do offer plenty of grip on the bottom of the soles, even though they look like garbage. However, the negatives are plenty. They are cheap and tacky, of course, and even though they do fit, they are still tight. But in hindsight, I wouldn't be wanting to wear these out anyway, since they aren't branded with any Revenge or Storm stuff. I feel like these would break apart and separate after a few days of just wearing them. Even though I said they felt heavy, in reality, they're pretty lightweight, to be honest. That's them done. While being slightly bigger than the Fear of God ones, and having reasonable grip, they're still meh shoes. I mean, I got what I paid for. Yeah, I don't think getting shoes from Wish is a good idea anymore, because every time I seem to get pairs off Wish, they're just, it's, as I said, it's just a fail after fail after fail, so... Anyways, I think I am done with this video review. They're meh shoes. Uh, I'm not going to wear them because they're tight and they'll probably fall apart very quickly anyways. And yeah, they're just there. So I'm going to leave it here. So that is it for this video review. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And some bonus content is going to be here. There's a wasp. He's not hanging around. There he is. I don't want him to come near me. There he is. He's evil. Get away from me. Alright, get inside. Now. No, no, he's coming too close. Damn it. Oh, he's landed. Ah, no, he hasn't. Ah. No. Take it, take it. Run. Am I safe? Did you enjoy your bonus content? I hope you did. Anyways, I'll catch you all in the next video. Should be shoes. Piff and piff. That was easy. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.